Hi guys! In the last Scratch tutorial, you know, we designed a way to create smooth movement in Scratch. We said that way was very simple and very easy. The, the video is here, just in case you didn't see it. And we promised that we would be explaining a better and more professional way. And here it is. So if you are ready, let's get started. As we usually do, let's go to events and when green flag clicked, let's make it bigger so that you can see it properly, uh, forever. And we're gonna create two variables, uh, y velocity and x velocity. y velocity will change the speed in the vertical axis and x velocity will change it in the horizontal axis. So let's go to variables, make a variable, y velocity, and another one, x velocity. And forever, we're going to change y and x by uh, y velocity and x velocity. And now we're going to assign the breaking effect, all right? The sprite slowing down. So to do that, we're going to set x velocity to the current x velocity multiplied by a number which is lower than 1 for example 0 0.9 that way x velocity is gonna be slowing down okay it's gonna be decreasing and the same with y velocity you change this so x velocity y velocity and now we need to control and to speed up the sprite by using the arrow keys. So let's go ahead, let's take a condition if a key, for example, right arrow pressed, we're gonna change uh, x velocity because if it is right arrow, we are in the horizontal axis, and as we are moving forward, we're moving right we need to put a positive number here. So we're gonna change X velocity by one. And the same with the left arrow, but this number has to be negative. So we put negative one. And let's try the movement in the, hor in the horizontal axis. Click on green flag. And as you see, it works it gradually increases the velocity and it gradually decreases the velocity when we stop pressing the arrow. If you think it takes a long time to stop, change this number and put, for example, 0 0.8. If now you think the movement is too slow, you can change this and you can put, for example, 1.5 and negative 1.5. Okay, so this is basically to your taste. And now, to do the same in the vertical axis, we're gonna duplicate these two blocks and uh, we put here up arrow. Now we change Y velocity instead of X velocity. And the same here, down arrow and Y velocity. And this is done. We can hide these two variables and check our program as you see it works perfectly all right and that's all guys as you see this is a bit more complex than the last tutorial but it is feasible as well so I hope you liked it and see you in the next video bye bye